Hello, uh, uh, welcome for today's session. So today we are going to discuss on multiplexers and if time permits, we will cover the encoder and decoder circuit. So what is a multiplexer? So multiplexer is a digital circuit which has many inputs and one outputs. So these many input lines are selected based on the number of select lines. So this is called as a multiplexer. This is a ba <coughs> basic definition of a multiplexer. Now let us uh, hit back to our screen and uh, let us see uh, what is the multiplexer looks like. Uh, so here we have taken an example of 8 is to 1 multiplexer. So it means we have the 8 inputs here. So I will name this as I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6, I7. So I0 to I7 are the 8 lines. So we have the 8 inputs here and there is one output line let me call this as y and these are the select lines so three select lines we have we call this as a b and c so basically <coughs> if you have <coughs> it's a simple concept if you have the eight inputs then we need three select lines so that is uh, decided based on the multiple of so for example now I have uh, the 8 inputs so 2 to the power of how much will result in 8 so 2 to the power of 3 will result in 8 so that is how we can uh, find it the number of select lines so this uh, 2 to the power will decide the number of select lines so in this case it is 3 so it means uh, if we have the 3 select lines then I can have 8 inputs if I can have 4 select lines then I can have 16 inputs so now how does this multiplexer works to understand this multiplexer how does it work so i just want to show the uh, small uh, animated video which i have created so just a minute i'll uh, show you this okay you all can see this uh, a player Okay, so just watch this uh, play uh, animation and uh, so that you will understand. Now, uh, first of all, you can consider that based on these combinations of select lines, any one of the input line is selected and whatever the data present at that line that will be uh, passed on or transferred to the output. So I'll just play this, I'll just watch it, then we will discuss. Now the select lines are 0, 0, 0. So it means the first input is selected. And whatever the data was there at the first line, it was coming at the output. Now, if you see this 0, 0, 001 second line was selected, whatever the data there, it has come there. Now, likewise, based on the select lines, so it is keep on selecting the lines, changing the lines, and whatever the data present on those lines, it will be transmitted to the output. So, this is how the multiplexer works. Let me play it again. Is it not visible, the player? Oh, then I can't help it. Let's see. Now, can you see? Okay, so then let me explain again so that you can understand. Now, uh, these ABC which you have written, just a minute, just a minute, let me pause this. So, the ABC which is written in the below are my select lines and uh, I0 to I7 are my input lines. So, now you can see this internally it acts like a switch. So, based on these select lines, any one of the line is selected and whatever the data present there, it will be transferred to output. Now, 0, 0, 0 means the first line is selected. So, whatever the data present, that will be transferred to output. 0, 0, 1 means when A, B is 0, 0 and C is 1. So, then uh, the I1 line is selected. Then, whatever the data present there, that can be transferred. That you can see just like this. So, I have played the video. You see the select lines as well as the input and output. Now, see uh, the switch is changed internally. You can think like this. 
so it's basically worked in this funda okay so like this whenever the select lines are changed the uh, the lines of the inputs are also going to be changed so i hope you understood the concept of uh, multiplexer let me play this again okay uh, so we'll head back to our uh, screen so now important things that you have to remember is that the how many inputs and how many select lines i need to have for a multiplexer so for 2 to the power of 3 i can have eight input lines and uh, three select lines and uh, the structure of the multiplexer looks like this so now uh, if you look into the uh, the truth table of this multiplexer then we can simply write like this uh, the truth table now we have we will write this in terms of the select lines now a b c and output is y so truth table can be written in this way when it is 0 0 0 what is the output so output is nothing but the i not line whatever the data present in the i not line so that can be appear across the output when it is 0 0 1 then it is i1 when it is 0 1 0 then it is i2 then 0 1 1 it is i3 then 1 0 0 0 it is i4 then 1 0 1 0 it is i5 1 1 0 it is i6 then 1 1 1 it is i7 so this is the truth table of a multiplexer so what is the purpose of writing this i not i1 i2 is that so based on the select lines uh, based on the select lines any one of these inputs are selected then whatever the data present on those lines so that will be transferred at the output so that is the meaning of it so now let us uh, look into the logic circuit of this uh, multiplexer so let me save this page here i'll take the new page here so now based on the truth table um, i can write here like uh, my a input lines So these are my select lines. <coughs> so this is my A, this is B, and this is C. So what I have done is that I have converted these lines with also with A bar, B bar, and C bar. I have used the NOT gate and I have converted like this. now if, uh, if you look into the truth table uh, if you have copied then the first equation was 0 0 0 then the output was i not then <coughs> it means 0 0 0 means i have to take from these complements here so i'll take the lines from here this one then a bar b bar and c bar and apart from that i have to take a one more input line which acts like i1 now all together what i'll do is that i'll perform the and operation so this is my i not now uh, let me write one more and i'll explain to you so this is for first one now next one was 0 0 1 so 0 means uh, i'll take once again from this 0 now there is a one more zero and c was one so i'll take from the c line here so this is c and uh, there was one more uh, input line that is i1 so let me take like this and uh, if you write this so we have a one more and again 
So likewise, we can write for all possible inputs. Uh, I don't have much space here. Uh, probably I cannot able to write. So let me uh, try to write uh, one more here. And uh, remaining you can write down. It is the same way you can write. And then finally you can combine with an OR gate. So I will just explain with uh, three of the inputs. So next one was 0, 1, 0. So 0 once again I will take from A bar here. And uh, 1 that is B is 1 so I will take from 1. And uh, C is again uh, 0 so I will take from this C bar. And we have the input line also. We have to consider this input also. Separate line. Because that is important. I will tell you why. So this is my I2. So now uh, we have to combine all these outputs with a simple OR gate. So combine all eight inputs connect to this OR gate and this final output whatever you get here so that is your Y. Now let us analyze the circuit. Now for example here you have applied the data say one zero uh, you applied the data that is 101 one. and here it is 111 one, one. and here is also 110. One, so something like this there are three bits of data you are applying simultaneously. Now if the select lines are 0, 0, 0 then what happens when select lines are 0, 0, 0? When select lines are 0, 0, 0 what happens? Now you see here this is 0, its complement is 1, its complement is 1, its complement is 1. So it means what happens here? All the inputs, are, all the select lines are 1 and if I0 is also 1, then the output of this you will get it as 1. Whereas for the other case, all these will be giving as 0. So let's see what is the second uh, AND gate will give. So now it is 0, 0, 0. So what do we have is here? So here you have, uh, sorry, uh, 1. So here also you have Uh, you look at here, so this is uh, 0, so it, you will get here 1 and here it is, you will get here as 1, but here you will get this as 0 because it is connected straight away to C. So 1 into z 1 into 0, you will get here input as 0 and whatever the I1 you connect here, so basically you will get here as 0. It means there is no effect of this AND gate at all. Likewise, then if you look at here, so here it is connected to... Uh, complement so you will get here 1 uh, here it is connected to B so you will get here 0 here it is connected to complement you will get 1 so 1 into 0 into 1 you will again you will get here the output as 0 itself it means there is no effect of this AND gate at all so it means at any given point of time only one of the AND gate will be giving the respective output so as we have selected 0 0 0 definitely whatever the value that is present at this I naught that has to be transferred. Now for example in this case we have uh, A is 1, B is 1, C is 1 because all our its we have taken from the complement so it is 1. So for the next data here I naught is 0. So what it will give? So definitely it will give 0 itself. No problem. All others AND gate is also giving 0. This is also giving 0. Ultimately we want 0 itself so no issues. So with 0 we have no issue but with 1 we have to be very careful. So only that line it has to give uh, ones which we have selected. So this is how we can realize this logic circuit. Is this clear? Any doubt with this? Just a minute. So now, likewise, uh, now we will see a couple of examples of these multiplexers. How we should consider that 1 or 0. See, you need not to consider whether it is 1 or 0. So basically you have to understand when 0, 0 select line is selected, it has to select this I0. It means when it is 0, 0, 0, you see the select line, it has become all 1s, irrespective of whatever the data. Whether the data on the I0 is 0 or 1, you need not to worry about what is the data present in the I0. Whether it is 0, 
you will give you will get the output of this and get as zero if it is one you will get the output of this and get as one that's it you need not to worry whether it is zero or one okay so while designing it has to be very careful when you design this you should not miss any of the lines so you have to properly design zero 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 means you have to take from the complement of a b and c and connect those two and gates and one of, and uh, apart from that one of the input should be one of the uh, these input lines if you don't connect the input line then one 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 always you will get the output as one itself it will not give what is there at the input side are you getting for example if you disconnect this line i1 uh, i not line what happens when you disconnect the i not uh, i not line then always you will be getting the output as one which you don't want you want actual input what is there now actual input is what 101 so you will get 101 only if you connect the uh, this input line also along with these select lines okay so this is how uh, you can uh, i'll leave it to you to complete this uh, for all the eight input lines okay so in the same way you have to properly connect now for the second case uh, the truth table according to truth table it was zero zero one so zero zero one means where do you connect zero means here it is uh, zero is nothing but a this is a b c d a b c so this is uh, zero means a complement uh, b zero means it is b complement so i'll take from here and c means directly i'll connect to the c line so this is how you have to make the connections okay so let me save this page here So now we will uh, see uh, the two cross two multiplexer and then we will quickly look into the uh, other applications as well. So let us see this uh, two is to one max. So two is to one max means, uh, can you tell me how many select lines will be there? So 2 is to 1. How many input lines? So we have the two input lines that is I0 and I1. And since there are only two input lines, I need only one select line that is sufficient. And this is my output Y. So now it can be just A itself. So based on the select line, any one of the line is selected. If this is 0, I0 will be selected. If it is 1, I1 will be selected. As simple as that. So if you write the truth table, then this is A and then you write the output y when it is 0 you will get the output as i0 if it is 1 you will get the output as 1 so how does a uh, logic circuit looks like it is very simple so we have the input a line here so you take the complement of it in the same way so this is a and this is a bar so what do we do here now is that uh, for 0 it is i1 so i'll take from here and i'll take one more input as i0 connect to and get and uh, let us take one more input from a and another input from i1 so connect to and AND gate and both of these you connect to one OR gate so this is the final output Y so this is a simple circuit logic circuit of this 2 is to 1 marks okay so what is the definition of a multiplexer the definition of a multiplexer is that it's a digital circuit which has n number of inputs so basically we'll say we have n number of inputs and uh, 2 to the power of uh, m is equal to n it means the we have m select lines and one output line you can see so we will see a couple of uh, interesting examples here so 4 is to 1 i'll leave it to you to realize you realize 4 is to 1 marks now i'll go to very special and interesting application now what is that is let me save this page 
you all have seen in the previous tutorial and the previous session that uh, the full ladder the full ladder circuit so we have realized the full ladder using exclusive or gate and and gate or we also using the nand gate also is it possible to implement that full ladder with the help of multiplexer well why not let's say that implementation of full ladder using mux so how is that to do this we have to a uh, little bit uh, we have to think out of the box so let me take the truth table of uh, my uh, adder this is my ci and so outputs is sum and carry so 0 0 so now this is 0 1 Zero zero, zero zero one, one zero. This is zero one zero, one zero. Zero one one. It is uh, zero one. So one zero zero, one zero, one zero one. It is. Zero one, then one one zero. We have zero one. Just uh, let me know if I have do any mistake here in addition. So it's a simple thing. Still, there is a possibility that I may do mistake. Yeah, it is fine. So this is my truth table for the full ladder. So to there are two ways to implement this. Either I can go for eight is to one mux or I can go for four is one. So let us first see the eight is to one multiplexer. It is very simple. So eight is to one multiplexer. Just now we have seen. So it has the eight inputs and uh, three select lines and one output. So if you want to do that, so let us write this. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, this is for sum. Uh, so basically, I'm doing this for uh, sum. If you do it for carry also, you will see. So these are the uh, three select lines. So let me call this as A, B, and C. So I have uh, the. Now I'll just look into this sum. When it is zero, 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 and first line is selected, it's supposed to be a zero. So what I will do is that I have one uh, sum input line here. So I'll connect uh, through a complement like this. So I call this as sum so then uh, so this is connected here now the for 0 0 1 what you can do is that you can connect like this and for one zero you will get the same thing then for zero one you will get see i can do this either for some or for carry we cannot do this for uh, both to get the output because ultimately there is only one output the output of the multiplexer is only one so we can design this either for some or for carry if you want to do for carry then we need to have one more multiplexer like this then uh, we can design only for the carry uh, now for this input when it is 0, 1, 0, so its output is 1, so it is connected. When it is 0, 1, 1, it is 0. So we can connect here. So when it is uh, 1, 0, 0, it is 1. So we can connect from here. The when it is uh, 1, 0, 0, then it is 0. So I can connect from here. 
when it is uh, 0 I can connect from here and when it is 1 I can connect from here so hope you have understood this it is uh, very simple so when all the inputs are 0 0 0 then what happened basically I need the output as 0 so how do I get the output as 0 so I need to connect I have to give here 0 so how do I connect this 0 for example I have one more input here so rather than considering this as output let us consider as input itself one more some line so this you can make it as 0 or if it is very confusing what we can do is that just disconnect all of these lines and just think that you have connected a fixed inputs here so fixed input is that this should be 0 this should be 1 this should be 1 then this should be 0 then this should be 1 then uh, this is uh, 5 this should be 0 0 and 1 this is another way of thinking uh, another way of realization if you don't want this if it is confusing then just disconnect this and it means I not line is always 0 I1 line is always 1 I2 line is always 1 I3 is 0 I4 is 1 always so based on that so if you change the select lines so corresponding inputs you will get at the output it means it is just as like realizing this truth table for the sum likewise all uh, you can also do it for carry okay so I am just discussing of sum I leave it to you uh, to figure out for the carry so now let us realize the same thing with the help of 4 is to 1 max this is 8 is to 1 max so next we will discuss on the 4 is to 1 max so for that uh, let me shift this entire circuit to the right side I will just take uh, 4 is to 1 max so in 4 is to 1 max we have to be now really think out of the box so we have only four inputs here so that is uh, i not i1 i2 i3 and we have two select lines a and D and we have the one output here so this is my I naught I1 I2 and I3 right now how to realize this using 4 is to 1 marks it's a really um, a question here so to understand that I'll just take my two input lines and I'll split this I'll put a line here I'll split it or I could have put uh, the thick line itself yeah so now what I'll do is that I'll now split this into combination of the same combination of AB now this is 0 0 this is also 0 0 uh, so I have combined it so now this is 0 1 0 1 so I have combined it this is 1 0 1 0 I have combined this this is 1 1 I have combined it now like this you have to uh, really very careful in this now has what I have done is that I have separated the third input and the two inputs which are of common I have combined into a group now 0 0 this is also 0 0 this is 0 1 this is 0 1 so this is 1 0 1 0 so I have combined now we have to look into only some term here I will put a line here so I am not interested in my carry because I am doing only for sum ok so now if you look into the sum and correlate this with this C input if you see here for AB00 zero zero, carry uh, this uh, carry input is 0 sum, in, sum is also 0 uh, carry is 1 then sum is also 1 very good so it means if this input is 0 0 the input line should be if it is 0 it is 0 if it is 1 it is 1 so I leave it open I will just call this as uh, sorry so I will just so here I need uh, one more line uh, let me write here this is my CI line 
and here it is connected through a simple NOT gate. So now I'll use the logic which we have used before. All right. Now here I can connect this straight away to C. Means I'll this is the C input. One more input we have now, so that I can connect. So if it is zero zero, and if it is zero, output is zero. If the C input is one, the output is one. It's very fantastic. Now I look into the second case when the select lines are zero and one. So what happens? C is zero, then sum is one. When C is one, sum is zero. It means it is getting the complement. So let me connect from this complement line. Means from the C bar. Fantastic. Now it is done. Now next is one zero. When the E and B is one zero, you look at that. It is again the complement. So fine. You connect from here. Complement. And for the last case, when it is one one, it is same as C. So very fantastic. Again, you connect this from one. So like this, it is not only the adder. You can realize anything, any kind of a truth table using multiplexer. It is very interesting. Can you all hear me? Uh, I think there was a network issue. How much did you able to follow? Can you all hear me? Okay, thank you for this. <coughs> 